Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So as we talked about, I got a new hood. Uh, now I've been waiting for this for almost two months now, about a month and a half. Uh, it's been quite the journey to try to get this thing here. I feel like uh, it's been uh, a really long time, a long time in the making. I've been wanting to get this specific hood even before I had this car. Uh, this is something that I dreamed about owning. It was one of those things that I kind of wished I always could do and I could always put on the car, but I just never, um, I don't know, I guess I had the courage or, or the means to be able to do it, but decided to do it, decided to go through it because I'm just kind of going all out and just doing everything that I want to do to the car, you know, no no exceptions and uh, no budget really. Um, I just kind of really want to try to create this vision that I've always had in my head. So what hood did I get? Well, I'm obviously gonna unbox it for you guys and show you, but it's gonna take a while because there's a lot of packing. <laughs> but uh, it is the VIS or VIS Racing V2 hood. So it's a super aggressive hood. It's got the you know the vents on the side here, uh, and then it's also got a bigger scoop as well as a cooling vent uh, that goes along the back of the hood here. So really, really nice looking, um, and I'm really looking forward to getting it on the car. Now, before I unbox it, before people start saying, you know, your car's too clean, uh, you know, why are you putting a full carbon fiber hood on the car? I'm gonna run the hood full carbon for now uh, because I want to, first, I wanna see if I like the look. You know, it is aggressive. Um, my car is, you know, it's clean, it is aggressive, but, you know, adding something like this just kind of takes it to another level. So I wanna make sure that I like the style, that I like the look. Um, then also I wanna make sure the fitment, you know, with aftermarket hoods or aftermarket body parts in general, um, you know, there can be some fitment issues and everything, and I want to make sure that I get it really, really uh, as close to perfect as I can. I have fitted, um, you know, carbon fiber trunks before on previous cars and, and other parts, um, so I'm confident I can get it to fit really well. But before I invest in getting it actually painted, um, you know, because that's a you know pretty pretty pricey thing to get done, have it painted properly, at least the way that I want it. Um, you know, it's expensive. So I want to make sure that it's something that I totally love and I totally want to put, you know, the money towards it before I get it painted. Plus, if I end up painting it now uh, and getting it on the car and everything and then I don't like it, it kind of limits my market. Um, so basically, I'd only be able to sell it to people that have lapis blue, which is kind of a rare color. Not a lot of people have it. Um, you know, obviously you can repaint it, but again, it's just limiting my market. You know, if it's something that I just truly don't like, I don't like the look of it or whatever it may be, uh, I could just sell it, you know, full carbon fiber and it can go to any car, any WRX or STI with any color. So that is my reasoning for putting the hood, you know, on the car right away in full carbon. Don't get bent out of shape saying, you know, it looks terrible. Why'd you do that? Blah, blah, blah. It's my car. It's my money. It's what I want to do with it. So just wanted to say that. So let's get to unboxing this. Uh, again, there's a lot of packing material here and everything. So um, I'm going to just set the camera up, do a time lapse and uh, open it up. And then we'll kind of go over the details and everything. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the hood on in this video, just because I want to make a separate video on that. If you look on YouTube or anywhere, uh, there's not a lot of videos on installing this hood specifically or any hood. A lot of people just say like, hey, I got a new hood. Uh, boom, it's on the car. They don't explain the details, you know, how to adjust it, you know, what fitment issues there may be and just, you know, all the details that I normally put in videos um, that a lot of people want to know. It's just not out there. So I might dedicate a full video of just installing it so, you know, people can see, um, you know, from beginning to end what you need to do to get it installed correctly. god this thing is so damn nice holy crap absolutely beautiful jesus <laughs> oh man i was a little nervous just you know obviously shipping something of this size i was a little nervous about you know anything getting damaged but it is perfect uh every square inch i looked around it all the corners and everything the entire weave is perfect, thank God. So if you look around the back here, it's got the, it's called like a cooling vent, like all the heat uh, from the motor kind of runs out back that way. 
Uh, oh my God, this thing is so freaking sick. It's gonna look so dope on there. Oh man, all right, so let me kind of clean this up and then we'll go over kind of the details of this thing. And uh, let me kind of get my composure because I am pretty pumped. This thing is beautiful. It's gonna look so good. You know, this is one of those things that, uh, you know, you see in pictures, you see in videos. It looks cool, uh, but in person, completely a whole other dimension. This thing is unreal. Super nice. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put the camera down, you know, get everything cleaned up and kind of get it set up so we get a little bit better view of this whole thing. But geez, this thing is nice. All right, so got it kind of cleaned up out of the way. I have no idea where I'm gonna store this with the uh, stock hood in it, but gotta find somewhere. Probably, uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But man, this thing is absolutely flawless. Um, like I said, you know, buying carbon fiber parts, there's always that risk that, you know, the weave is gonna be messed up, it's gonna come cracked or something. Uh, and I, I was kind of completely shocked about how good condition this actually came in. Um, you know, obviously it's a pretty pricey piece, so I was really hoping that it was high quality. Uh, and sure enough, it's absolutely beautiful. Easily the nicest carbon piece I've ever had. In my past, when I had my M3, I had a uh, carbon fiber, double-sided uh, carbon fiber CSL boot lid by Vorsteiner, uh, which is a really popular brand. Um, and it was one of those things that it took a lot of adjustments to get the fit right. Uh, and I got it fitting really, really well. Um, and that was pretty pricey as well, around the same price as this thing. And this quality is on par with that, no question. Um, I'm not really sure if it's VIS racing or VIS racing. Either way, you guys know what I'm talking about. And the only thing left, obviously, is to see how the fitment is. Uh, but I've seen some great fitment of these hoods, and I'm really confident I can get it to uh, look and fit really, really good. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. But let's take a little bit closer look at the details of this. Um, I'll show you the underside as well as to why I went with the VIS instead of Saibon or Sabon. But here are the side vents, the most, uh, I guess, aggressive part of the hood. Um, if you notice, the actual hood scoop is much taller and bigger than the stock one. The stock one's a little bit puny in my eyes, and I always love the, you know, the older gen uh, STIs with the giant hood scoops on the on the hood. It's kind of like a staple, and I feel like every single year it's gotten smaller and smaller, and it just kind of became less of a, you know, a prominent thing. Obviously, it's still there, but I just, I don't know, it's kind of hidden. I feel like it's something that needs to stand out a little bit more, and this is pretty massive. <laughs> so, um, and as you can see on the back as well, as I kind of showed you earlier, um, this is the rear cooling vent, so all the excess heat uh, from the motor can escape out the back, uh, which is a really, really nice feature. They do have the VIS racing or VIS racing, um, you know, just this style hood without the venting in the back, uh, but this is the V2 style hood with this. Um, and I actually kind of prefer this. I think it looks nicer. It's a little bit more aggressive, um, plus it's a little actually functional feature uh, of the hood. Now, let me explain as to why I didn't go with Sabon or any other company out there. So one of my main things, uh, you know, my car, I live in New Jersey. Uh, I drive this car, I mean, not recently, but I have driven in the rain, snow, anything, you know, any type of inclement weather. And I knew if I got a carbon fiber hood or a hood for that matter that had vents everywhere, you know, it just wasn't ideal. It didn't, didn't make sense. You know, why uh, open up the engine bay to the elements and get the engine bay dirty and everything? You know, I'm not worried about anything you know, breaking in the engine bay. I'm just worried about the cleanliness of it, you know, knowing me uh, and you guys know how I keep my car. I like to keep my engine bay really clean as well. Uh, so having open vents to the atmosphere was a concern for me. Uh, but this hood, one of the reasons why I went with it is as you can see, there's black right there. You can't see through it. It's because it has the rain guards in. There are actually guards that go underneath. I'll show you underneath in a little bit, um, but I just want to do everything on top first before I have to flip it over. <laughs> But as you can see, the guards are there. So it's actually a removable guard. So you can pop them in. Water won't get into your engine bay and it stays nice and clean. You don't have to worry about it. If you're going to the track or you know you're going for a drive, it's supposed to be really nice out. All you gotta do is pop those guards out and you have a full vented hood here. Really, really cool feature. Um, and it's actually a really nice you know, looking piece under there. It's not just like a piece of crap just thrown there. It's, it's really nice. You can take it on and off as you please. Um, but since I'm driving the car, not in the rain or inclement weather at all recently. I'm probably just gonna leave them off for now. And I can always just throw it back on if I know it's gonna rain and I'm taking the car out. Now, the second reason why I decided to go with this hood is I plan on staying top mount. I do not plan on going front mount for, you know, reliability and, and daily driver um, concerns. You know, staying top mount is, you know, I can do a whole entire video on that, uh, but staying as OEM as possible, 
uh, to me is important and staying top mount is one of those things. Underneath on this hood, it actually comes pre-drilled so you can transfer the scoop that goes you know, in here to the intercooler onto this one. With the uh, other competitors, the other brands, you have to drill it yourself. Yes, you can do it yourself. You can sit there and drill through the hood if you want, uh, but that just absolutely terrifies me that you would have to drill into a thousand dollar plus hood uh, and you know potentially popping right through it. Plus, you, who knows if it's gonna be centered. It's just one of those stresses that I didn't wanna deal with. Uh, so knowing that I can just take the insert off of this one and pop it onto this one without any concern was a huge win for me. I didn't get this hood just for looks. It's something that I actually feel that it's going to help the car. It's gonna help keep the car cooler. Uh, obviously it's gonna look really nice, uh, but I wanna keep it functional. So having the top mount hood scoop insert underneath the hood was really important to me. Now, the third reason why I went with this hood is the styling, obviously. The Sabon hood looks very similar to this, but if you look at side by side, there's a few differences that I wasn't crazy about. On the Sabon hood, the vents on the side um, they're not as aggressive. They're a little bit more straight as opposed to these are more angled. It kind of flows with the hood more. And I think it looks a little cleaner because um, it kind of flows with the actual angle of the, of the hood uh, as opposed to just having kind of, you know, smaller vents that just kind of go straight. They still do look good on that hood, but it just, I don't know, something looked funky about it. Second reason is if you, let's take a look on the stock hood, um, you can see the hood scoop. See, it has the outline right here. So, you know, this is obviously removable on the stock hood. But if you go and look at the Sabon hood, it still has that insert, that line that goes around. It's not removable. It's simply just, you know, there for looks. I don't know why they decided to keep that. Uh, but to me, that disrupted the line. It disrupted the look of the hood. And it just, I don't know, I was not a fan of it. As you can tell, this one, there is no line here. It just transitions nicely and smoothly and it looks really clean. And to me, I just, that was another reason why I like this hood way better than the other one. So how do I plan to keep this looking good? Well, uh, you know, as I said in the beginning of the video, I do plan on painting it eventually. Now, I'm not gonna paint the entire thing. I'm gonna do the typical, you know, leaving the vents exposed. I'm gonna leave back here exposed. Uh, it's gonna be a really, really nice paint job. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Carbon hoods are prone to kind of yellowing and fading and, and kind of looking cloudy and stuff over time, especially in hotter environments and climates that tends to happen quicker. Uh, you know, this is not a clear coat. There's a gel coat on here, which is very different than a typical clear. Uh, but for me, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to polish this whole thing out and I'm actually going to ceramic coat it. So it's going to offer the protection, the same protection as on the paint and the wheels and everything else on the car. Uh, so it's going to stay looking this good for a long time. So I wanted to point out a few things under the hood, as I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, the rain guards, these things are right here. There's just a few pop clips that all you got to do is uh, take a Phillips head, twist them out, and the whole entire uh, insert right here comes out, which is really nice. Um, again, this is something that's that was really important to me. I didn't want to leave open vents to the engine bay and uh, kind of leave it exposed to the elements. So having these rain guards is really nice. I'm probably going to leave them off all the time unless I know it's going to rain or be, uh, you know, be nasty out. Um, so it's a really, really nice option that I don't think any other brand offers other than VIS. Second thing that I mentioned was the uh, pre-drilled holes for the hood scoop insert. Uh, I couldn't imagine drilling into a thousand dollar plus hood just to get the plastic scoop insert in there. Um, I'd be, uh, my anxiety would be through the roof. So knowing that these are already pre-drilled already, which is a really nice, uh, really nice thing that they did. So all I gotta do is pop it off the stock one and throw it on here. Now up here is the, uh, the badge, the VIS Racing Sports. Uh, you got your serial number there. Um, obviously it's really nice to have that because you know it's authentic and it's not fake or a rep. Uh, there are reps and fake hoods out there. So make sure um, you get the real deal because you don't want to spend all that money just to find out you got a fake hood because um, that would suck. <laughs> So up here, this is where the hood latch goes. Uh, super simple, two screws, pops right in. Um, and also, I wanted to mention something else on the other side. So with this brand specifically, as you can see, the inserts are black. I believe on Saban, Saibon, um, they're silver. So you either need to run them silver or you need to paint them. And painting these things, you know, obviously they're gonna get chipped up from the road. So having these things, you know, actually, I believe they're anodized, um, have them actually anodized black. Uh, is really nice because you don't have to worry about the chipping and it looks way cleaner. I never understand why people put silver inserts in the vents. It looks terrible uh, and it looks really tacky. So that's another reason why I really enjoyed this hood. So yeah, guys, that is it. That is the new carbon fiber hood for my 2017 STI. 
It's gonna look awesome. <laughs> I'm actually going to install it right now, but it's gonna be a separate video as I mentioned. Real quick before I end this video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Mark from the Mod Garage. Uh, I hit him up, I said, hey, I'm looking for this hood. Are you able to get it for me? And he had one in stock. He was able to get it out to me pretty quickly. Uh, granted, it took a long time with shipping and all that. Um, you know, I'm really, really happy with uh, my experience with the Mod Garage. I'm really looking forward to purchasing more stuff from them in the future. Uh, really great experience. Um, all I did was hit him up on Instagram. I said, hey, I want this hood. Can you do it for me? And I responded super quickly and got everything that I needed. And I mean, look, <laughs> it got exactly what I wanted. Uh, and it came in a timely manner and um, it looks great. So huge shout out to Mark. Thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you are excited about this new mod to the car. I know I am. I'm really looking forward to getting this thing on here. If you guys have any questions at all about the hood, about where I got it, about anything else or anything else on the car, don't hesitate to ask below. I'll be more than happy to answer. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple. I'll catch you in the next one.